This week, the sponsor of Wealthy Child Team is in the Far West region, where several different people live together in harmony. These people have experienced significant economic development since the 50s. They have elevators, drive-in services, and food surpluses. But behind this shiny facade hides a tragedy, relational poverty. And once again, the first victims are the children, children like Megan a 13-year-old girl ravaged by relational misery. Since her parents divorced, Megan lives alone with her mother and her cute little dog, Gus, that she loves so much. She is a caring little girl. She updates and perfects her profile several times a day in her social media networks, making sure that they are all well synchronized. Megan's mother was worried for her daughter. I watched my sweetheart spend hours in the morning putting on makeup, choosing an out and press her classmates. According to our family psychologist, Megan suffers from a narcissistic personality condition. She uses seduction to attract attention in a disproportional way. We looked for resources. Megan joined Narcissistic Youth Anonymous. To my surprise, she was happy to participate. She even became president of the group. There are millions of children like Megan in the West. Each one wants to show how unique and exceptional they are. It is an outlook that comes from a poverty in interpersonal relations, a competition that wears them down with each passing day. The last straw was when Megan came up with a logo for a support group with spin-off products. She transformed the whole thing into some jet-set club. I really tried everything. All that was left was sponsorship. The hardest part was convincing Megan. In her own mind, she was a superstar, the complete opposite of someone who needed help. My strategy was to explain that it was her that was saving African children just like her idol, Angelina Jolly. She already saw herself on the cover of Time magazine. Thanks to the folks that sponsor a wealthy child, Megan was matched with her family in Bolivia. We were so happy to meet Megan. She is such a devoted girl. At the beginning, she wanted to help us by whitening our portrait. She told us she knew how to optimize our branding. <laughs> we sometimes forget that there are people in the world who have no access to friends, neighbors, seniors. By sponsoring our little Megan, we are also sharing our culture. She didn't know that our country, Bolivia, was the first to give rise to nature, rise to Mother Earth, as we say here. Mother Earth was a new concept for Megan that she immediately adored. According to her, it could be the next big buzz. She sent a registration form to be sure it was registered before it was too late. Registering Mother Heart, what an idea! Through a weekly correspondence, the sponsored child must write to its adoptive family about the efforts taken to get closer to people. It's so gratifying to see the positive results that sponsorship brings in a child's life. Immediate and concrete results. Megan is changing so fast, the results are glaring. But Megan is Megan. She will always be influenced by appearances. But it will be different, less plastic, more natural. It's so easy to become a sponsor of a child in need. Regular correspondence allows you to give advice to your child in order to help them live better with others, whether they are neighbors, friends, family or strangers.
It brings us so much joy to watch our child grow like that. We would like to save all the little Megans of the world if it would be possible. This is another inspiring story like the dozens I see every week. Don't wait, you too can make a difference in the life of a child. Go online now to the address that scrolls across the screen. We are together, Turikungi.